came here in 1984 because my mom lives here. I, I moved here, her here in 82. And when I got out of graduate, uh, undergraduate school, we were looking for a place to live, a place to begin raising our family. And my mother and two of my brothers were here. And it seemed like a good place to, to come. It definitely has grown. Think of little things like when we came here and we were raising our kids, the huckleberry wasn't here. And um, we often talk about how if it had been here when our kids were little, how much we would have used it. So there's the development of the town, there's the, the more density, more people, more students, of course, with the university growing, but also more business opportunities and more education opportunities and more recreational opportunities like our trail systems and park systems. So I think the town's really responded to that need and the quality of life issues that Blacksburg folks like. The North Main Street improvements, and the College Avenue streetscape, the creation of the farmer's market, the rehabilitation of the Lyric Theater downtown, the Alexander Black House moving it from its old site where Kent Square is to opposite the street and then rehabbing that. I think all those key things have really contributed to bring back a thriving downtown, a thriving downtown that represents all the different parts of the people that live in the town. I know the comp plan and the different subcommittees of the comp plan is populated by literally dozens of Blacksburg residents. And so that comprehensive plan is really a reflection of those people's ideas, aspirations, and uh, dreams about how the, what kind of community that they want to live in. A wise person in Floyd once told me, Woody Crenshaw, that folks have to get together and decide what kind of community they have to live in, and you have to create it. And that's really what the comp plan does, is it is the most important document that the town has because it is the living document of what people want the town to become.